Strengthening your core isn't about getting a six pack. It's key to reducing back pain and preventing falls, especially as we get older. One of the most effective exercises for strengthening our core is the plank. It engages your abs, hips, and lower back. In today's session, I'll guide you through and explain 11 different plank variations. While this isn't an exhaustive list, it is a great place to start. Most variations can be adapted to your comfort level, whether that's on your knees for a slightly easier version or on your toes for a more challenging workout. Don't be discouraged if you can only manage five to 10 seconds initially. Consistency is key and progress will come with practice. Once you're comfortable holding a specific plank for say 30 seconds to a minute, then challenge yourself with a more advanced variation. Remember, the journey to a stronger core is about consistent effort and gradual progression. Now let's take a look at those 11 plank variations. The first two versions of the plank are gonna be on your hands. So we're gonna do a high plank. So starting off, hands are directly below your shoulders. We're gonna do the first one on our knees. So taking your knees back behind you, so knees are back behind your glutes, abs are nice and tight. So really think about squeezing your belly button in towards your back, nice and tight. And we're just gonna hold it here, pressing in with your, pressing your hands into the floor, extending your shoulders, abs tight and hold. Now, if this is feeling relatively doable, we're gonna take it up on our toes, same position, pressing into your hands into the floor, abs are tight, now you don't want your butt to go in the air and you don't want it to sag. You wanna to try to keep it nice and level. Squeezing your fingertips into the floor, abs are tight and you hold. Now, when you can hold that one for a minute, you're ready to advance to the forearm plank. So very similar to the one we just did. Now we're gonna go down onto our forearms. So forearms on the floor, elbows directly below your shoulders. Start off on the knees, knees behind your butt, abs are nice and tight, pressing your, your arms into the floor and you're gonna hold it here. If this feels pretty good, then go up onto your toes. Back is nice and flat, really pressing into the floor. You remember, you don't want your butt in the air, you don't want it to sag, keeping it nice and flat and hold right here. When you can hold that one on your toes, on your forearms for a minute, then I want you to give the side plank a try. For the side plank, we're going to go on our forearm, on our side. You can start off trying it with on your knees. Elbow below your shoulder. We're gonna lift our hips up off the floor and hold it here. Your hand can be on your hips, your hand arms can be straight up looking at the ceiling. Remember, abs are tight. Really think about squeezing your abs, squeeze your butt. You're gonna hold it here. When you can do this for 30 seconds on both sides, then we're ready to do the leg fully extended. So extend your legs out, one foot on top of the other, lift your hip. Again, hand can be on your hips, arm can be extended, and you're going to hold this for 30 seconds. Make sure whatever you do on one side, you do on the other side. We want to make sure we're staying even and we're not creating any imbalances. Now for this next variation, I'm going to go back to the high plank. So we're going to have hands on the floor, hands below your shoulders. We're going to go up on our toes. Abs are tight. Now for this one, you're gonna want your feet to be a little bit farther apart for balance. We're gonna take one hand at a time, tap the opposite shoulder. So you're gonna move a little bit, but we don't wanna to swing too much or fall over. So really grasping the floor with your fingers, one hand at a time, up and tap, back down, up and tap, back down. And you're gonna keep doing this one, alternating. You don't need to go fast, nice and controlled, and see how many of you, these you can do, or if you can do that one for 30 seconds, 
to a minute. The next variation is also a high plank variation. So we're gonna go again on our hands. This one's got your feet, to legs totally extended. And we're gonna put a little cardio into this one. Abs are nice and tight, really grabbing hold of that floor. And we're gonna jack with our feet without too much movement. So it looks like this, out, in, out, in. Keeping your abs nice and tight while you do it. And I suggest you try to do that one for one minute. The next variation, we're gonna go back to the side plank. This one, we're going to move from side to side. Forearm on the floor, legs extended. This one would be probably very difficult to do on your knees. So we're gonna go into the side plank, just like we did earlier. Hand could be on your hips, arm could be extended. You're gonna hold it here for your amount of time, whether that's 30 seconds to a minute. Then without getting totally out of position, we're just gonna rotate to the other side. So your other arm is gonna slide in till your forearm touches and your feet will rotate. Back into this position, or arms up. You're gonna hold this for your 30 seconds to a minute and then rotate back. Arm comes in, forearm, forearm touches, and you go back and up. And I'd suggest try to do that one for three rounds of 30 seconds on each side. Now, sticking with that side plank, we're gonna go back into a side plank on your forearm, legs extended. Now, this one is going to be quite a bit more difficult, but give it a try. So we're gonna lift up into that side plank position. Then we're gonna lift this top leg. Doesn't have to go super high. We're just gonna lift it up, pressing out with your heel towards the back of the room or the side of the room, and hold that for 30 seconds. Don't forget to do both sides. And the last variation I have for you today is the reaching plank. So we're gonna be in that high plank position again. Hands below your shoulders, feet extended, abs are tight, back is flat. You're, you can have your feet out a little bit wider again because we're gonna be on one hand at a time. You're gonna take one hand, reach it straight forward, bring it down, switch sides, reach, bring it down. Next one, and down. Slow and controlled. Try not to have too much swaying side to side as you switch hands. And see if you can do that one for one minute. Now drop me a comment. Let me know which variation of these planks you're going to start working on. If you'd like to continue working on your abdominal strength, check out this beginner ab workout. I'll put a link to this workout in the description below. I'll see you in the next video.